it here? Is it here? Yes! Good morning! It's a great day to be outside, and so we're going to go! Is it? Yes. Is it? Is it? Yes. Is it our last time to go out on the lake? Bye. Her name is Nene. Nene. Wave, Nene. 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 Wave to everybody. Did you bring her some snacks too? Yes. What do you need to go on a boat ride? Just like put toys. Toys? And her food and her drink. And her drink. And what else? Does she get sunscreen? A little bit sometimes. Not really, because she's already brown. She's already brown, yeah, that's true. What about you, do you need sunscreen on? Yes. I think you might be a little brown too, sister. The absolute happy planner failure. That was me. This morning when I realized that Truett had not made it to his first track meet last week, even though he technically, he couldn't have gone because he was sick anyway. But yes, mom fell. Truett, were you sad? Yes. No, no, because uh, because I want to be like the person who shows up late one week and then crushes everyone. Crushes them. Crushes them. Crushes them. I don't know where he gets that kind of, you know, competitive spirit. It must be his dad. Now that one. He has his mom's personality and vivaciousness and excitement. on the last time we go um, it was great. The greatest part was when we're leaving. That's the greatest part? Hudson, what's your favorite part about going to the lake? Uh, what's your favorite thing to do? Relaxing. On yeah, relaxing and... My favorite part was that we didn't die, the drone didn't crash, and we loaded the boat back up and we get to see the AEX. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Topo Chico, for another fabulous day at the lake. Favorite part, what do you like to do here? Swim. Are you sad about it being our last time? No. Nope. You think we should go again soon? No. Nope. What are y'all making? Rock towers. Oh. I'm, I'm trying to wake up rock. I'm trying to what? Wake up rock. Break them up and you're building something with it? I'm trying to I'm build trying to a build. tower. So we are heading back to the house to find out what is in the box. And I want to share with you guys three myths that I believe homeschooling carries with it. One of the myths I find in homeschooling is the myth of qualification. Do I have to be qualified? I'm not qualified. I don't have a teacher's degree to teach my child. And to that I say, of course you don't. But you don't have a degree to parent your child. And from the moment that your child is born, you're actually teaching your child how to grow and learn and all of these things. So my, my answer to that is, yes, you're qualified. You are, you are the parent of this child. I remember in the early days of homeschooling just one child, I remember being discouraged and, and feeling overwhelmed and thinking maybe, maybe everyone's right. Maybe I should be qualified. And I remember a sweet lady telling me, a friend telling me that you do not have to know all trigon, you, you don't have to know all the way to the end of tri trigonometry. You don't have to know all of your advanced maths. You just have to stay one day ahead of your child and you were qualified to teach them and to me that was like it was it was a pivotal moment where I thought I can do this I am qualified I surely surely I know just one more day ahead of my child I want to give you the ability to say I am qualified to teach my child and you have been teaching them since the very beginning you have taught them their ABC's and shapes and colors you have taught them to obey or disobey and you have taught them to ride bikes so yes yes you can teach them and one final thing if all of those things do not convince you I just want you to know that it is legal in every state in America to homeschool your child if nothing else just know this the government believes that you are qualified. Box. Box. Oh. Oh. True it. You want to help me? Oh, no. Sure. What in the world could it be? You'll never believe what it is. It's the iPhone 11 Pro. Here it is. 
iPhone 11 Pro. Uh, it has three cameras. So with the iPhone 11 Pro, there is a telephoto camera, a wide camera, and an ultra wide camera that allows three different angles for when you're shooting stuff. It has a slow-mo selfie camera, so you can take slow-mos with that camera. It has the new 813 Bionic chip, which allows it to do a trillion operations per second. For one trillion operations per second. And it also has the new retina display, and it also... So what do you think about it? I think it looks extremely sleek. It has a new, like, kind of matte finish to the back. Is this yours? Uh, no. Who's it for? Dad. Lucky Dad. He gets the new iPhone 11, and now... So myth number two, if my child is homeschooled, he won't be socialized. I debunk that because your child as a homeschooler has as many, if not more, opportunities to socialize and interact with people all over the world, and I'm going to give you some examples. We have co-ops and we have volunteer opportunities. We have visits with grandparents and play dates. So there's lots of opportunities, but yes, yes, you do have to be intentional. It has been a long day. We're done with our errands and out to eat and getting some ice cream and we are finally home. I am tired and I am sunburned, but I wanted to go over the myths with you guys one more time. First one, qualified. Not qualified to teach my child. Second one was socialization. My child will not be socialized if they're homeschooled. And the third one, I'm just gonna make it up, uh, killization. Let me explain that to you. Killization is where you say, I could never homeschool because I would I would kill my child. That is debunked because homeschooling parents, they don't have some kind of epic strength to withstand the chaos and noise and whining of their children. No, we don't have some superhuman strength. All it takes is to shift from motherhood to teacher. I know you teachers do it out there. I know you go from being mom and when you step in that classroom, all of a sudden you just become teacher. And so I think putting on different hats during the day, you know, sometimes I have to be the cook right now. So mom has to do this. Um, so when I get into that mode, I just go into teacher mode. So you guys know that I have been uh, talking about Call of the Wild and Free. I have been in love with this book. I am nearly done. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I am almost there and I am loving it. I wish I had it nine years ago been nine years ago when I first started this homeschooling journey it has so much encouragement so if you guys are interested at all in this book if you want to leave me a comment below I am going to give this away if we get 20 comments I'm gonna give this book to three people and um, moms out there that are homeschooling if you have some myths that have been debunked shoot them in the comments below. And moms out there, dads out there, if you have any questions about homeschooling, you wanna know how to get started, or maybe you just have some myths of your own that you want to see, are they real? Are they debunked? Let me know and I'll try to answer some of those as well in the comments below. And rumor has it that if you share this video, there may be some bonus points for you to get that wild and free book. So I'd love to hear from you guys. And until next time, love you.